today we're climbing an active volcano. You can't wait for other people to be what you've been called to be. You can't wait for Bruh, we're here. About to go for it. And look behind you and say, everybody who wants to run, run, but I can't stop running because you're not running. Listen, listen to me, hear me. Mate, we're about to climb a big ass mountain. Yeah. Hoorah. And we got a pet dog. Ain't just a mountain, it's a volcano, brother. It's inactive. It's a volcano. It's a volcano, brother. And it's active. No, don't leave me. Come, come on the adventure. No. You can't stop chasing the dreams of your life just because when you know when you do it, you're going to have to do it all by yourself. He came back. Knows I'll take care of him. We're like in the first 40 minutes and it's like the hardest part of the whole thing. It's the steepest and yeah, so it's pretty hard. Me and Mike, we just stopped. We're gonna swap bags and we're actually uh, kind of cheating a little bit. We uh, decided to go splits and we are getting our, one of our backpacks taken up by that sweet horse over there. Yeah, go buddy. That right there. It's the best decision I've made in a long time. through the first layer of all the farming. Now we're in the uh, cloud layer. We've just saw these amazing, beautiful trees and it's all green and yeah, we still have about 90% of the hike to go and I'm already destroyed. Literally walking into the next uh, level of the mountain right now. How cool is that? The Dallas I made for going downhill with a board, not uphill. With Amen. A man stick. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Go for it, mate. Love that guy. Old mate Toby, what a beautiful specimen. You eat that grass, you deserve it, mate. You deserve it. You know, you may not be purebred, but you're at the heart of one. That's what counts. I feed you, and you're going to leave me for these people. <laughs> no way. Honestly, I'll remember I promise you. you we're not worth it. I'll, I'll remember you. You're not oh, excited. Whew, why aren't you excited? Oh, look at the view, mate. Oh. Can't see oh. Um. Nah. Apparently, this is normal for this time of the day. Usually, uh, the whole cloud lifts around four o'clock or something like that, just in time for sunset. So, yeah, get keen. Look at that big old pack. Camera gear, drones, tents. Yeah, baby. Uh, yeah, baby. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Get Let's stoked. Get right Just waiting for the uh, for the clouds to go away. Yeah, but it's still pretty beautiful. Whoa! First time seeing it. How wild is that? What? How crazy is that? Yeah! Got the crew set up over there. Oh, this is wild. Imagine. With Michael. Get out really. of here, you dog. I you think he Toby. Was... That's Toby. I think he was in there with Michael. <laughs> Mate! He just came right from around the I'm always willing to give you a pat. That dog was from the beginning. Yeah, I know. Toby! 
<laughs> Mate, how are you? Oh, I'm going to give you a pat even. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sit right there, mate. You have my seat. Have my seat. You, you legend. Look at you. I honestly think we couldn't have got a better looking dog. Like, We've just had the most incredible night. We literally just saw a volcano continuously just get blasted and erupt through the whole night. We couldn't believe it. It was really cloudy for when we got up here and then uh, sunset, it was bad and we didn't know what was going to happen, but it all got opened up and amazing night sky came out and we've just seen the most amazing light show ever we saw lava being blasted about 50 or 50 meters higher or higher i i couldn't believe it i don't know why i'd never thought about doing this before it is one of the most special experiences i've ever had in my life i i can't believe how stoked i am right now it is it is just crazy seeing this creation um going to sleep now it's been a super long day we have about four hours sleep getting up at 3:45 to go up to the top of this mountain and uh, shoot the shoot the sunrise. And man, I just can't wait. See you guys there. Also, I don't know if I'm gonna put this in there, but uh, I heard someone's gonna maybe propose tomorrow. So I've been given in the inside scoop. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, I'll see if I I can take some nice photos. Woo. As if that is not the coolest thing you have ever seen. Alright, I'm literally climbing to the top of the mountain right now. Sunrise is coming. Oh my gosh, there's 40% less oxygen up here. And we're at 13,000 feet which is like, oh, I don't know, 3,000 meters or something. It's higher than the mountains in Canada. Oh my gosh. The rest of the crew's down there. I went ahead to get this. Oh, this is one of those beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. It's the active volcano. And hopefully it's gonna, it's gonna pop off like it was last night. This is just so wild. I've never, I've never seen anything like this in my life. I probably sound horrible because I can't even breathe right now. But people, you gotta climb an active volcano. What just happened? What just happened? 
just got engaged! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh, oh, a volcano! volcano. Alright, we're gonna head down now. I just got some uh, engagement photos of the couple back there. It was amazing. Man, this is where I want to propose. If I'm gonna do it anywhere, it's in a place like this. Alright, we're, uh, we're heading down now. This has been one of the coolest experiences of my life. One of the most beautiful things I've ever seen and oh, I'm, I'm just so pumped right now. Got to, yeah, just shot that, shot the uh, engagement and yeah. Man, thanks for watching. Kawabonga. Running down a volcano. Sliding down. <laughs>